Rated M for Mature. We really worked very hard when we created Borderlands to create a tapestry, you know, a really deep, interesting universe with lots of elements. But we're making a first-person shooter, and in the end, what you're doing is you're running around shooting guys in the face and jumping on monsters' heads and freezing enemies and smashing things to pieces. Your only method of interaction with the other people in the world is to sort of stare at them as they talk at you or shoot them in the face. I think we've always known that Borderlands was more than just a first-person shooter but the catch was that all of our mindshare was on making it the best first-person shooter we can make it. A lot of people know that Gearbox had actually worked with Telltale before with uh, Poker Night at the Inventory too, And we found it was fun to work together and we really enjoyed that interaction, that collaboration. The Telltale guys were saying, this is cool, this is a neat, rich universe. This is like a place we'd like to play. We thought these guys could do something really awesome with the game. And so like the idea of doing an adventure style game with the Borderlands franchise uh, just seemed to be a natural fit. The decisions that are meaningful in a Gearbox Borderlands game are about what kind of gear should I use or how should I set up my character. When I play a Telltale game, the decisions that I'm making as a player actually affect the outcomes of the story. You will be able to not only see how your characters change as you progress through the game, but also see how you yourself as a player change and how the events shape your opinions. It's a unique thing that Telltale can do. It's a unique kind of storytelling. With anyone that we're working with, we do provide sort of like creative feedback. So myself and Matt Armstrong are constantly going down to Telltale uh, and basically sitting in story meetings with them. We help um, come up with the overall season arc of the story. We're not writing the actual dialogue in that because Telltale is just better at that. Um, but we're, we're sort of really trying to help uh, see where the overall story is going to go, how it fits into our overall Borderlands universe. It became very clear that we can do things with them that are going to affect the rest of Borderlands significantly in the future. But make no mistake, this is a Telltale game. This is a Telltale game working in the universe that Gearbox created. And when you feel the quality that comes, you'll understand that this is what Telltale is good at. And I love it for that. I remember when the, the announcement trailer uh, showed up. One of the things that I got a lot of email about, what's up with Handsome Jack showing up in that teaser? I thought he died in Borderlands 2. Handsome Jack is dead, yes. Handsome Jack is dead and he's not coming back, uh, but there are contingencies. 